All right, what is going on guys? Back with another video and in today's video, I need to stop moving around too much because I'm messing up the lighting. But in today's video, I'm gonna be installing a brand new Hirsch short throw shifter on a Camaro because the stock shifter, it sucks. It sucks, it's horrible. It locks me out sometimes. Grinds going in the second, grinds going in the uh, third sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. And I'm like, well, I'm not trying to mess up my synchros in this transmission. So let's just change out the shifter really quick. See, that fixed the issue. And I've seen a lot, before I bought it, I was doing a lot of research. And everybody said it's just a stock shifter that's doing an issue. It's not the clutch, not the um, clutch line expanding when you press in the clutch and stuff like that. It's just the shifter itself. So I'm going to change that out. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. So I'm going to strap the GoPro to my head and do, not a, like time lapse, but I'm just going to cut it here and there and stuff like that while I'm working on the car. It does require for me to jack up the car and get under this. So this is my first time jacking up the car. So if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the description. Please let me know in the comments below just so I'm doing everything properly and safely. But uh, from what I've seen, there's two jack points in front of the car lifted, lifted up from one of those jack points. And then the jack stands have two, um, two points on, on each side from the uh, subframe. So hopefully I get that right. Hopefully I stay safe and hopefully we, you know, we finish this process without hurting anything on me or the car mainly me free the car anywho <laughs> let's show you what i have so this product came extremely fast i ordered it um i think i ordered this wednesday and it came on friday and I'm, I'm installing this on monday because i had work and then i had to do some school stuff and i just didn't have time to actually take my car down for like an hour or two just to work on it just in case I didn't get it finished. That's why it's parked in a garage just in case I don't finish it or something goes wrong and then it's safely parked into a garage and not in anyone's way. Uh, so yeah, here's the shifter itself right here and this is the upgraded um, bushings. I went for the upgraded bushings because everyone says that the stock bushings on this uh, shifter they're okay, but they're not it. They're not great. They go out easily. So I'm like, well, I'd rather have the upgraded bushings instead of having the bushings go out and have to actually go back in and, you know, put some in there. And a lot of people said these bushings should have came with the shifter. It was only a $60 upgrade, so it's not too bad. Uh, it's, I really don't think it's worth 60 bucks, but if it makes the shifter feels better, feel better, then by all means. But, yep. So we have the... The shifter itself then we have the stock uh shifter head that can hold the the stock the stock uh what is it called the stock ball and then we have the upgraded her shifter that holds the upgraded ball right here and i'm not sure if i want to use this one or if i want to use the the stock one because i don't know i don't I kind of love the way the stock one feels in my hand, but I never really had had this before, so I kind of want to try it out. Never, this you know, this is my first manual car, so not too sure how it's going to feel. Then we have the hardware right here, but yeah, I may end up getting uh, one like this, but in blue. Then it had, then it may have my uh, YouTube logo on the side, like you know, the legendary burnout, and then it has the six-speed uh, pattern uh, H pattern right here, or it just may have the legendary burnout on the top of it. No, no. But I kind of want it blue, but also I do want the white inside the interior just to contrast the uh, all the blackness inside the car for right now until I get the blue shift knob for it. But yeah, with all that being said, let's get everything, uh, let's unplug the battery, let's take out the jack, jack the car up, and let's get into it. Okay, so the instructions call for me to use a plastic pry tool to open this up and like break it free but i don't have a plastic uh plastic trim tool so uh yeah actually i think i do let me check i think i actually do okay actually i don't so i'm gonna try to use this hopefully don't break it okay yeah it's coming out a lot easier don't want to scratch it either all right gotta go where the tabs are okay so since i have this part up let me see if i just break it free okay yeah all right i'm gonna put the camera down so i can break it free and i so i don't break anything but let me take this out too let me move my wallet 
remove my hand sanitizer because you know you got to have san hand sanitizer in this in this day and age and ignore the receipts i just you know leave food receipts right there because uh, once i get it i put my card right there and i just get my card when i'm getting out the car and i <laughs> put my card in my wallet and i forget about the receipts all right but yeah let me pull this up real quick so i don't break anything okay so now that i have it free i just need to unplug the wire that's underneath actually i really don't have to unplug this wire but i'm going to anyway uh just in case um because i don't want to get in tugged or anything but yeah let me unplug this really quick all right so got that unplugged now i just need to take a take off these four allen allen bolts phillips head bolts and then the shifter will be free from the top all righty so i got the four phillips head bolts out so now I just need to pull this up and just, I, you got to just use a lot of force and just be careful not to hit your face. This also, also this is not a how-to video. I'm just showing you guys how I'm doing it. So if I'm not doing anything right, uh, yeah, not liable. Disclaimer. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is not a how-to video. I'm just showing you guys how I'm doing it uh, from reading the instructions. I haven't really pulled out the instructions. I've just been watching the video like crazy over and over again so I don't mess anything up. But uh, yeah, I'm going to pull out the instructions after I pull this off because I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do after this. But all I know is I got to use a lot of force to get this up. So yeah, I'm going to do that really quick so I don't hurt myself or hit the roof or hit myself in the face or anything like that. So hopefully I don't do any of those. So yeah, let me just pull this up really quick. Jeez, that took a lot of force and it like it snapped very quickly. So it kind of like scared me for a second. But here's the stock shifter. See, it goes in the gear. What is it? There's first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear. Then we have reverse right here. Uh, I'm going to put it in. I don't know if I'm supposed to put it in gear while I have it jacked up, but I know I I want to have it in at least in gear while I have it jacked up. Then again, I may just leave it out of gear so when I pull the boot through or pull the whole shifter through, that nothing is binded up or make it more difficult for it to get out. So. But yeah, here's the stock stock shifter right here. I'm going to be reusing that boot, so don't lose it. Uh, and also, if I if you want to, you can reuse this. I may or may not. I'm going to keep it just in case I can easily switch it out because switching it out is very simple. All you got to do is like pretty much do all the steps I just did, and boom, you can change it from the hearse to the stock shifter or stock shifter back to the hearse or stock knob back to the hearse. doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm going to jack the carb really quick, unplug the battery, and then we're going to get into it. I'm not actually, I'm not sure if I have to unplug the battery. Let me check the uh, instructions just to see because unplugging the battery seems very redundant for no reason. Like, I'm not dealing with airbags or anything like that. But for safety reasons, I may have to, but for safety reasons, I may have to um, unplug the battery. So I'm going to read the instructions really quick. Focus. I'm going to read the instructions really quick, and then I'm going to get back to you guys on that. But yeah, I don't need to unplug the battery, so I'm going to... Jack the car really quick. Um, then we're going to get into it. But yeah, I'm going to jack the car up. Got to unbox my jack really quick because I literally just bought it from AutoZone like a few weeks ago and I never even opened it. So I'm going to unbox it. Then I'm going to... Uh, actually, I may put the GoPro on my head so it's easier so I don't have to keep filming like this and stopping each time. But yeah, I'm going to set the camera down really quick, unbox the uh, jack, and then we're going to get into it. Alrighty, so I got the car all jacked up safely. I'm gonna show you guys where it's at. It's, so it's right there on that subframe, and right there on that subframe, then I have the jack, uh, just, I mean, the, the jack just has like a little tiny bit of pressure on there. It's just like a third safe, fail safe mechanism. But if you guys see anything wrong with this, please comment down below and let me know so I don't ever do this again. But yeah, I'm gonna get under the car, I'm gonna remove the dust boot, and then I'm going to take apart the the uh, pins that hold on the stock shifter 
and then after that, I'm gonna loosen the bolts and then the stock shifter will be out of there. So let's get into it. All right, so I got the two pins taken out of the shifter, like retaining the, I got these two things taken out, all right? Now I gotta go in there and loosen up the actual shifter itself and once I do that, I can pop it out or pull it from out. I think I'll pull it from under. All right, yeah, I think it goes from under. But once I get that out, we're good. I'm getting stuff in my eyes. Man, freak, I can't see. All right, so I'm not able to get the second uh, screw out and I thought I was gonna be able to do it without loosening up the cross member for the transmission. But I ended up having to do that, so I'm just gonna have to torque it back down afterwards. I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm gonna have to go buy one, or I can just use a brake bar and just make sure it's really tight. And then whoever has to do like the transmission for it next, they're just gonna have to have a time of doing that. But yeah, I had to do that, and so I'm gonna try to get this screw off now. Hopefully I can get it off. I'm still struggling a little bit with it. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Alrighty, so I'm taking out the last bolt from the shifter. I finally got it out. I don't know what this is called. I might even act like I know what it's called. <laughs> it just hit me in the chest. All right, so that's the last bolt, and here's the, I guess the uh, O-ring? Not the O-ring, I forgot what it's called. Anywho, taking out the shifter right now. All righty guys, so I got the stock shifter out. Here it goes, right here. I'm gonna set it down. Garbage, very garbage. So in the instructions, Hearst doesn't say anything about the centering springs that you have to take out. They don't mention how to take them out. They don't mention anything about it. So it's kind of like you're on your own on that part. What I found was I had to like push down on the boot and just wiggle the spring until I felt it pop out. Literally, that's all I had to do on both sides. And it took like 20, 30 minutes just to figure out how to do it. And it took like five minutes just to do it. Uh, I ha I'm still trying to get the spring out because they say I don't need the springs in there. And the springs are literally just in my dang way. So yeah, I'm going to try to figure out how to get those out really quick because they're just screwed down with like two huge um, Allen wrenches that I do not have like I've never even seen the Allen wrench that huge. Anywho, anywho I'm going to try to get those out really quick and then I'm going to put the new one in or I'm going to put the bushings in for the new one. Then I'm going to put the new one in. But first I'm going to clean my hands obviously because I don't want to get the new shifter dirty. <sighs> Finally, this is what took me over an hour just to get out. So these are the two uh, centering springs for the V6 Camaro. They don't have it in the uh, V8 and her says you don't need them for uh, reinst reinstallation. Um, so like getting a shifter out sucked. It really did because Hearst, Hearst didn't have any information on how to get the springs off. But um, if you wiggle the boot around and try to like finagle it, uh, you will be able to see this big uh, hex key bolt right here. And you'll just have to wiggle it around enough to get it out and once you loosen that up and break that free and take these two uh, springs off, you'll be able to get this off. Now, I got this off because I just got mad and I just pulled it out. So, yeah. I didn't break anything, though. Didn't break anything. I don't need to reuse these, so that's why I took them out completely. But, yeah. So, this is the stock shifter. I'm going to now install the new short throw shifter really quick. Alrighty. So, over here. I should really turn the light on because it's getting kind of dark in here. But, um... Where did I put the instructions? All right, so actually I think I need to open this up first. Well, actually I need to get this out, then open this up and put the new bushings in. Put, put the new bushings in. Ooh, can't talk today. Just show my hands a little bit. Over here. Uh -huh. okay. How come it's doing? Oh, that's why, because I'm not looking at how do I turn it around? Because I can't see. Literally turn it. Other way. That's fine. Oh, get my mind. Alrighty, ooh. Spider. Alrighty, so this is the old shifter against the new shifter. You can clearly see how long this one is and how short this one is. In short door shifter, not just kidding. That's not the real reason why it's called a short door shifter. All right, and this is the new bushings for the shifter. I'm honestly not even sure where they, I think they go right here. Hopefully they go right there. But uh, I'm gonna get this out or get the uh, instructions out and everything. I don't even, I don't even know how to get this open without even messing up something. All right, so we got the new bushings in. Uh, it says not to tighten them down too much and crush the orange O-ring. So I tightened it a little bit too much, but it's okay, it's not too tight. I kind of crushed it a little too tight but not 
too much to where it's unusable. So as you can see on that one, it's kind of like a little messed up, but I think that's okay. It should be okay because it's not too tight on there. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the installation going. Mm, now. <sighs> Alrighty. I sort of have it installed. <laughs> so I, if, if it's showing on camera, it looks real purple on camera. So I have the shifter inside the car. That is very short and stiff. Oh my goodness. All right, so uh, I'm going to attach the stick and I'm gonna run through the gears really quick to make sure that nothing is binding up and make sure that it's going through all the gears before I start the car up and everything like that. Uh, make sure it's not pressing on the gear or anything. Um, but yeah, finished up from underneath the car. I can actually lower the car down, but I'm gonna wait till I have to, I'm finished with the car just in case, or just in case. But um, this install took a lot longer than expected. It shouldn't have taken this long. The main holdup was the removing the stock shifter because Hurst didn't have it in the instructions on what to do with that. So I had to spend time looking for that, and it is currently eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Damn. But yeah, uh, let me attach this, uh, the stick really quick and then I'll be done. Anywho, I got the stock shifter off, the, got the boot off, so I'm going to put it on the new one. Now I'm going to look at the instructions because I totally forgot how to do that. Alright, what is up guys? I'm back. It's the next morning. Working on a Camaro again. Uh, I finished the car up last night, but one thing about the shifter I do not like is how it feels. And now, so this is the shifter right here. And I simply just don't like how it feels and how high it sits and just how small the ball feel. Like this one right here just sits so perfectly in your hand. Like it literally fits perfectly in my hand. And I like it much better. It's a lot heavier, feels more sturdy. And this one, I'm just like grabbing it like this. I don't know, I'm, I grab it in a very weird way because I just don't like how this little ball feels. So I'm gonna switch it back out and put the old one back in and see if I like that one better. And before I zip tie it down, I'm, I'm gonna clearly like just attach it and just see how it feels before but yeah I'm gonna just start popping this piece up really easy once you do some once it becomes really easy to do again I shouldn't have to take this all the way out hopefully Let me set this off to the side like so all right so got that out need to get the Phillips heads out these Phillips heads suck already so got that off. Now I just need to. Actually, I think I'm just gonna unbolt these. Yeah. Alrighty. So got the the aftermarket shifter out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, and install the stock stick. Or this is not the stock stick, but this is the stick that holds a stock shifter. Now this one may feel a little bit different from the stock the way the stock one felt, just for the simple fact that. Um, let me push it down some more. That is off center, like unlike the old one. Oh yeah, I love the way that feels so much better. Yeah, I should never just I should have just left the stock stick on, <laughs> save myself a little bit of time. So I have the stock stick back on, and honestly, it feels just like the, there are the stock knob back on, but it, it honestly feels like the stock stick again, which is kind of weird. Like the the her shifter, uh, her shifter knob itself, like the stick and everything, felt a lot shorter than this. Uh, Actually, it may be the same. I don't know. This it feels a little bit longer than the uh, stock one or than the uh, Hearst one. Cause I think when I had the Hearst, it literally stopped like uh, stopped a little bit forward, and maybe that's just like the placement of the shifter itself to make it give you that feel of you're actually going back further when or make it feel like you're not going back as far, even though you are. Um, but yeah. 
So this uh, this is literally how much higher the other one sat, and I'm like, yeah, I do not like having my hand up that high. <laughs> so yeah, it literally sat like this, and then. Alrighty. So I'm gonna go take it out for a quick test drive and see how it feels.